We've already said that you should use a compass to accurately align antennas, but how do you actually use the compass? Well, we've already said that there are three different types of compasses for different parts of the world, but let's take a closer look at how to use the compass itself. Well, first of all, we see that the compass has got a needle. It has got a scale in degrees. It has also got a mirror. So if we wanted to align an antenna to, let us say, 300 degrees, remember this is 300 degrees magnetic, the compass shows magnetic north, we use this to align it. However, the compass needle itself follows the Earth's magnetic lines of force, and there's a correction for geographic location so that this works horizontally. If you tilt the compass, then the needle cannot rotate, in which case you will not get an accurate reading. You must hold the compass horizontal. On the scale here, we have markings in degrees. So we dial up our 300 degrees, and we see also on here that we have got a marking to the right of north, and we use that and align the compass needle on that mark. Now, when we tip this over here, I can now line the site of the compass with a landmark on the horizon. And in the mirror, I can still see the compass needle, and I can align the compass. And so I know that our antennas should be pointing over there. It's easy, isn't it? But if you're working at the antenna itself, or you're working by the side of the tower or any other metal object, the compass needle may be erratic, in which case you would have to walk away from the structure and maybe take a bearing back on the site. Now, if you do that, you want the reciprocal bearing. So instead of 300 degrees, you add or subtract 180, in which case you would site up on 120 degrees instead of 300 degrees. If, however, the compass needle is totally erratic wherever you are, you can't really rely upon the compass, so you should take a map of the local area. Your site is here, look at a landmark there, and physically align the map with that known landmark. And then the antenna direction here, we can see that that is where we point our antennas. So we can also align the antennas without the use of a compass. Now, this particular compass that we supply at the moment is made by silver, and it has also got an extra needle down here. And this needle always points downwards, which means that you can actually use this as an inclinometer to check that it is either vertical or to align it to a specific angle of tilt. And that is how you use the compass.